No use hiding from the piper. Oh. She has to be paid. For everyone. I love this movie. I was laughing. I was dancing. I was horrified. Um, every woman at some point has been in a situation where she recognized that if she didn't act or somebody didn't come and bolster her position, she was in danger. Has something like that happened to you? Was that the impetus for this movie? Well, it's something that I, um, you know, probably wouldn't talk about. Um, I think that kind of stuff is, um, you know, is private and certainly, but, 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 you know, what I will say, of course, is that, you know, if you grow up as a woman in the world, you are aware very acutely, you know, pretty much the moment you hit puberty, often before, that you, your experience of the world is going to be slightly different and you're going to be vulnerable in a different way. Um, and I think that, you know, that that was very, very much complicated by a culture, you know, the, of the sort of raunch culture that was, you know, that, that I grew up in and that was even, you know, has been really going on for a long time now, um, where this kind of stuff was permitted, almost expected, almost encouraged, you know, it was a sort of weird rite of passage. It was it was kind of banter. And that's what is so dark to me about it, that it was so commonplace. I love that you've brought it into the conversation. One of the other things that's really interesting is that her personas are really strong when she's not made up and when she's not dressed a particular way. But when she is, um, people underestimate her. They think she's a pushover because of the way she looks and the way she chooses to dress. Mm. So talk about women's image in society and why if you're pretty or you're interested in dressing in a way that makes you happy, you become a target. I agree entirely. I think it's very, it's a sort of very insidious part of the misogyny of our culture that things that women find pleasurable or enjoy are sort of belittled. Um, and I think that extends, certainly in this movie, it extends to pop music, it extends to certain colour palettes, it extends to having your nails done. Um, so much of what Cassie does in her day-to-day -day life, actually, as much as the nightlife, is she, she uses um, people's expectations against them. And so she dresses in a way that means she can hide in plain sight. Because the thing is, is that as someone myself who I love... I love all of the stuff that Cassie sort of enjoys. I, I, I've, I've sort of grown up being very aware that how you dress can, and how you present yourself as, you know, can be a very important like communicative tool. And, and often for many women, a sort of, you know, um, a disguise, something that can protect them. So, so many, you know, clothes are so much more than just t-shirt and jeans to so many people. Um, and yes, there's something delicious about that kind of pastel manicure because it kind of reads, for some reason, it kind of reads maybe vapid or vain or shallow. And that's a useful thing because that, you know, those are the nails you don't see scratching your eyes out. <laughs> Very quickly, why is it that so many women directors also are the writers of their own projects? Is it because men are not writing the kind of stuff that we are attracted to or that um, it's just your vision? I actually don't know that. I, I don't think, I think for myself, I don't think I could ever direct anything that I haven't written um, because those things feel so entwined to me. I'm not sure I'd be able to direct anyone else's material. Um, but I think it partly, yes, it will be to do with... Uh, I think we, we still haven't, you know, we're still just scratching the surface of women's stories and also how those stories are told, how they're presented, how they're made, you know, of course, it, they will be increasingly made in ways that we're not used to. Um, and I think that's a really good thing. So, um, but I don't know the answer to that. I think it's, I, I, I hope people do start writing.
better stories for women directly. Can't wait to see more of what you do. It's really impressive. Thanks. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you so much. Thank you, Margaret. <laughs>